Welcome to this edition of Nature News, where we highlight seasonal occurrences to help direct your natural discoveries. This week, we are highlighting one of the most anticipated natural events of the year, the appearance of fall colors. The northeastern United States has long been famous for its spectacular kaleidoscope of autumn colors. But for quite some time, the mystery of why these colors appeared remained to be solved. However, We now know that various pigments found within the leaves and the chemistry of these pigments is the key factor at play. Every leaf is made up of hundreds of thousands of small living cells, each being filled with what we will affectionately call blobs of colored chemicals or pigments. The most familiar to us is the green pigment, which we call chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the key component in the production of food for a plant. It captures the sun's energy to convert water and carbon dioxide into simple sugars. During this food making process, chlorophyll is continually broken down and replenished at a high rate, making the leaf appear green. However, come autumn, the tree begins to slow its replenishing rate and more chlorophyll is used than created. This allows other pigments, which have always been present in the leaf, to finally reveal themselves to eager leaf peepers. These new colors we see are complements of carotenoids, producing the yellows and oranges that we have come to enjoy. Carotenoids are common in many living things. We see them in carrots, corn, daffodils, egg yolks, and even in some species of birds. To view these spectacular fall colors on our trees, seek out ash, hickory, black cherry, aspen, and tulip trees. Yellows and oranges aren't the only colors we enjoy, though. Reds and purples also decorate our favorite trees. These showy colors are courtesy of another group of pigments in the cells called anthocyanins. Unlike chlorophyll and carotenoids, anthocyanins are not present throughout the summer growing season. Their formation begins in late summer and is a bit more complex. As the weather gets colder and the days get shorter, the sugar in leaves accumulate and the production of anthocyanins is triggered giving our leaves a fresh new look of red and purple. Furthermore, the sunnier it is outside, the more vibrant these colors are. Dogwoods, red maple, Virginia creeper, and many of our grape species are excellent candidates to choose if you're looking to enjoy reds and purples. Look for bright days and cool nights for the best fall foliage conditions. Typically, an early frost spoils the fun. Remember, every time you step foot outside, there are new discoveries to be made. Happy exploring.